Hey guys, and welcome to a channel update from me, Board Gamer, channel and Star Citizen based, I suppose. On the 30th of June, I am going to Foundry 42 UK for a studio tour again, and to interview Aaron Roberts this time. So, if you have any questions about Star Citizen stuff, then please leave them in the comments below. I will try and ask them to relevant peoples, and anything I am allowed to say, I will say. Obviously, there will be NDAs and stuff, but the interview with um, Aaron Roberts, especially, will not be NDA'd, because, you know, that's what I'm going there for. Uh, also, in Wimslow, in the old dance, on the 30th of June as well, which is just by um, Manchester. Um, so straight after that uh, tour uh, on the 30th, around 5 p.m. until very late. I'm running a mini bar citizen there. If you're in the area, please come down. Um, I'll be there, some devs will as well, and everything we've discussed and will discuss will be linked in the comments and description below too, so you can see details of that event. Giveaways! It's June now, which means another ship giveaway. I'll post the details of previous winners on the forums, uh, links in the description below, uh, but I also contact them. I haven't actually done uh, last month's yet. I'll do it literally as I finish filming this and then put the link below. Um, for June, uh, it's going to be a freelancer, which is a ship that's going to give you a taste of all the gameplay available when 3.0 comes out. That's the idea of that. Now, all you need to do is be subscribed to the channel and comment on any of my Star Citizen videos, including this one um, during the month. 70,000 subscribers. We've hit 70,000 subscribers on YouTube channel and over 11 million views. It's really doing pretty well. My next major goal is 100,000 subs, uh, which I think is very obtainable by the end of the year. I wanted to hit it by March this year, but you know, that was that was wishful thinking. Uh, this would be a massive thing for me. I'd get my YouTube silver play button and it is a dream of mine to have that, like be a, a real YouTuber with a picture and everything. Um, so, short-term plans. I'm planning, or at least thinking, of starting to do a, a Star Citizen lore series. The idea of these videos that I'm going to be doing monthly, the, like, the channel updates, is so that you can have your opinions on stuff and give me feedback and say, yes, I like this, or no, I don't like this, and I, I am going to be heavily influenced by what you want. So, for me, um, I used to ignore in lore in games, largely, really, but for Star Citizen, where knowledge of lore might affect your actions in game, um, with other info you could potentially find um, leads to discover things in game, basically, the knowledge of lore, systems, species, terminologies, how things work, points of interest, history, languages, could all give you an in-game advantage, and that's what I'd like to explore in these lore videos. I'd like to um, do short, manageable bursts of info uh, on particular subjects and systems and all that sort of stuff, but kind of, um, I, I don't like having to trawl the internet for lots of information. I like to be able to have it in one location and as compact as possible. Um, and hopefully that will be easily searchable and relevant to your needs. So if you want lore series, please tell me. If you don't, then you can say you don't. Um, Alpha 3.0 content. So with Alpha 3.0 coming to the PTU pretty damn soon, I wanted to do some relevant in-game gameplay, how-tos, guides, various roles in the verse, what's going to make UEC, um, Alpha UEC, meta builds, stats, lots and lots of different stuff with actual tangible gameplay coming out and a lot more players hopefully coming into the game. I'll see what CIG do for their Star Citizen tutorial that they're working on, because I know they're doing stuff and I assume it is all for 3.0, um, and I'll look at theirs and compress uh, and then fill any holes with a full tutorial on quick start guide sort of stuff in my own style. I'll also get all of the user.cfgs and performance guides updated for 3.0 as well because you don't want to be having your computer run like crap or if you've got a, a slightly not top spec computer you want to be able to run the game as best you can even if you've got a top spec computer you want to run it the best you can uh, if you have any specific topics or suggestions for star citizens uh, stuff or series that you'd like me to cover uh, then drop them in the comments below again patreon there has been a huge amount of support from my patreon recently genuinely thank you you guys have absolutely made it if you'd like, um, I'd like to get a little bit more production value into my news and info uh, videos and that sort of stuff, get everything a bit more tweaked and looking good, uh, making sure the footage really reflects what I'm talking about at the time, just tighten up the channel and content, and whether you're a Patreon or not, your feedback really influences my video series and channel direction, so please have your say. Uh, I'll get that Patreon page updated as well, because we should um, move around stuff, that is a bit of an update, it's, I'm a bit better at writing now. Um, and uh, I'm very bad. I'm dyslexic. I have issues writing stuff. Um, track IR. So, um, with uh, I haven't finished my Track IR video and head tracking video guide and stuff for Star Citizen. I'll get that up soon. Uh, I've had problems filming some part of it because um, I shake at the moment. Uh, it's, I'll, I'll talk about that in a second, actually. Uh, or I also have a 3D rudder, which is an alternative to pedals and uh, has a lot more uses, potential uses. And I think it 
might be good for some players in Star Citizen. Uh, it might be pretty good for VR too. Noobify's got a video on one talking about his experiences with it, which I'll link in the description. Um, VR. I am thinking about doing some additional content to my channel. Um, I used to do VR ages ago, got really into Star Citizen, um, and then got a schedule going for that. So I'd like to do a VR video a week. Um, I'd actually think that would be quite cathartic and enjoyable. Um, I quite like VR stuff and I think I've got a solid setup for it now and I'd like to check out some of the Oculus stuff and I've been um, kind of offered an Oculus. Um, so please tell me if you think that's a good shout and something that you'd like to see on the channel in addition to the regular Star Citizen content. It's not going to be less Star Citizen content or anything, it's literally going to be an extra video a week um, and I think it'll be pretty easy because I would quite like to film my gameplay of it as well. Um, I'd use these videos to get a chance to be more social and connect with you guys as well that sort of stuff so maybe these videos would be done in VR. Um, with VR stuff I tried to get game keys for giveaways too and it's likely I'd better get them straight from the publishers because uh, people are trying to push VR but games like Bridge Commander look incredibly fun and multiplayer I'd love to play with you and Redacted as a whole like me and Twerk and Saurus and all that sort of stuff get all into VR would just be amazing. Uh, hardware I've thought about doing hardware stuff on the channel um, with a Star Citizen kind of theme or edge to it but I I'm just going to do an occasional build, uh, maybe try occasional top, mid and low end uh, range of processors and graphics cards um, where I can get them for the manufacturers. I like Gamers Nexus coverage of hardware stuff. I think they're superb. Um, and I do want to talk about hardware for Star Citizen and how it's going to affect and what's good ideas and what's bad ideas. But I don't want to have just a hardware channel with this mass sprawl of hardware stuff. I am, however, <laughs> the worst streamer in the world at the moment. I've not been re well recently, and the idea of streaming and how I react, I can barely do the podcast at the moment. So uh, the plan is to eventually, as soon as possible, uh, get into streaming pretty regularly, at least Star Citizen a couple of times a week, and then just um, play some games with my mates in the evenings too. So I want to be streaming really like four or five days a week if I can. I've had to deal with a lot of personal stuff recently. My medication has also changed. I take antidepressants and anti-anxiety stuff. It was not good. I have not been in a good place. I'm terrified irrationally and have phobias of getting like sectioned or taken away from my home. I've just been really low uh, to the point where it's been difficult to manage for me. Uh, and I've been shaking visually uh, panic attacks and uh, odd OCD rituals that I'm performing because I'm not, I've not been good. Um, uh, and the worst insomnia I've ever had as well. Not sleeping is tell. Uh, I'm going to the doctor on Monday though, and hopefully we can get something to help me sleep and I'm going to get a bit more stable. Uh, without help and my family and without telling people how I am, I'd literally be fucked. Mental illness and health are not dirty words. There are a couple of charities that I have in mind uh, when I talk about them as well. Uh, one in the UK, mind. <laughs> uh, and uh, more globally, no stigmas, both helping with mental health awareness and advice. Links can be found below if you want to check them out. Um, and if you have, you're having issues yourself, not alone. Um, I sympathise and you, you can get through it and you can get better, hopefully. Because I talk about my personal experiences, I can tell people that they're not alone, but I am certainly no health professional. And that's kind of it. I really love you guys. I've had so much support and amazing messages and emails every day. It's, it's amazing. Uh, I am able to um, work playing and researching game news and doing cool stuff like that because you let me. And it's grown to a point where it just keep on, keeps on growing. Uh, I am super lucky. Over the last two years, I feel like I've become a less crappy person, uh, and a much more stable person overall, and grown um, this really lovely community, which is you. If you'd like to like and subscribe for Star Citizen contents, then please do. Um, take care, guys, and I'll see you in the verse.